Hi guys, welcome back to Shortcake Central. And I hope you all had an excellent Thanksgiving holiday, Thanksgiving break with your family. And I hope you all ate a lot, a lot of good food. I know I didn't get to because I had to work. I was helping those in need of me. So that's where I dedicated my time. But anyways, let me get to my update. So I have the first update for my Love to Project pan. And I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty good. But there's some stuff that still needs work. There's some stuff that I'm moving on quicker, moving quicker through than others. So let's get started with the progress. The first item I'm gonna mention is my L'Oreal lip gloss, which I don't have for me. It stayed in my car and I really don't feel like looking for it. But I have made promise, progress on that. It's almost gone and I just can't wait for it to be done because it's way too old. It's like old. Next I have my Duo Black Liner. This is my liner which is one side is the gray side and the other is black. I am moving through this at a fairly eh, okay pace. And as you can see, I had this in a previous project pan and it is getting quite small. So, so that's the progress on that. It's getting there. It is getting there slowly but surely. And I'm actually surprised because I thought that after a certain point, after the black got through this point, it wouldn't have any more product when, when I sharpened it. But it does. It still has product in there and it's still going. But... It is going to be gone pretty soon if I keep using it regularly like I have been. One thing I do want to mention is that I am not going to measure any of these or keep track of them in a, an index card or anything because I lose those things and there's really no point. I mean, the the usage is going to be noticeable. The, the usage is going to be noticeable. So I decided not to do that in this project. So next I have my Motifs Loose Powder, which I put in the Derma Blend Loose Powder container and for some reason I decided to weigh this because one of the youtubers I'm subscribed to which I am so sorry but I forgot who it was sorry I just don't remember but she start she weighs her stuff and I was like well that is a really good way to keep track of eyeshadow palettes anything and just kind of keep track of your usage especially with loose powder so um I had done lines on this so I had done lines on this right here and um i decided to weigh it as well so on the 2nd of november i had 52 grams and i've been using this thing regularly it's my setting powder and it still says 52 grams so i don't know what the heck is going on there but i did i did measure it again and i went down to this line now so i've been doing good on this i've been using it up there's not much left in here it should be done by the 14th my elf concealer is almost gone i really like this i'm wearing it right now it does a really good job of covering up imperfections um it's not like it completely vanishes my dark circles i have problems with this area right here um on the inner corner of my eyes but this does work really well under my eyes i really like it so i'm almost done with this this is where i started and uh don't be fooled there is really nothing in here this is close to empty so i use this every day it shouldn't be alive much longer i feel sorry for this little guy i haven't been using it as much as i wanted to because i have been <sighs> obsessed trying to get through my previous primer my green cherimoya primer which is almost gone one more use and it's gone i just didn't want to leave it there because i don't want it with this much left and then just sitting there waiting to attack i just want it gone so i've been obsessing over that and i've been neglecting my smashbox one but this will get used after tomorrow i am going to start using it using it regularly so uh there should be some progress by next update my maybelline age rewind is almost there this is where i started right here and right now it's close to nothingness it has some in there i don't use this a whole whole lot but when i do it's like to highlight parts of my face and i do use it um occasionally for like to conceal because i do like it some people say that they don't like how it conceals that it doesn't work for that it works for me one of my holy grail foundations is the revlon 24 hour foundation i love this thing um this is in the color sand beige but honestly it makes me look a little bit grayish 
like that deathly gray kind of shade and I'm not really liking it too much but I do love the formula it stays all day right now it fell on me so that's why it looks that it's full it looks like it's full but it's really not this is where I started and this is where I'm at right now so there's just a little bit left in there once it all settles down you'll start seeing the progress again physicians formula powder mm. almost gone again this is where I started the outer line and I did measure this as well on the 23rd it was 57 grams of course it's mostly packaging obviously but I have done a great amount of damage on this that is what's left and I use this every day kind of to bronze my face up with so uh, I'm getting this used up fair, at a fairly good rate okay this thing right here annoyed me kind of it is my ultra flash gold standard Mascara. I got this in a subscription box, beauty box, box 5. I cannot speak, it's too late already. And it was completely dry. Like, you could see it show up there on my hand, but this has never been used. And it's completely, completely dry. It's not usable at all. So, needless to say, I hate this thing. I don't like it. It's useless. So, I decided to replace it with my Tarte bb cream samples and i have already used up two of them all i have left is the fair the medium tan and the tan so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix the fair with a medium tan to give me one of these uh mid-range colors or with the tan but i still think that might be a little bit too dark for me but i will get this used up i've already used two of them and that's my replacement product for the crappy mascara this is my lip exfoliator from elf and for the longest time, well, let me show you my progress. That is the progress on that. Um, I've done pretty good on moving this. But let me tell you, there is a trick to this. There is a trick to this. Um, when it was brand new, all the waxy stuff was gone. Then were left sharp little pieces of sugar. I could not get through that. And no matter how much I used it, it seemed like it never got used up. Well, one day, I decided I forgot to bring it all the way down. I put the top uh, on and it made this flat. So from that point on, every time I use it, I'm able to use, get more product out of it. It's not like just scratching my lip, not doing anything. So if you have one of these, just smash it flat with your top, with your cap, and that'll make it way easier to use. You can even use your fingers and apply it on like that. Next I have a hair item and it's my Nourishing Coconut Milk. Uh, from organics. Um, I really like this. It smells wonderful and I use it after my bath I put it in my hair and it smells coconutty. So this is where I started and right now my progress is down here And I'm trying to use this up. It's getting kind of hard to pump out it It is getting to that point. So it shouldn't be much longer till it's used up My disappointing item of the night has to be my elf lip liner in bitter I just can't seem to, to move through this thing. I have made zero progress on it. I forget to use it. But when I have used it, this thing has an amazing staying power on your lips. It does not go, it does not come off. Whether you drink, whether you eat, whether you kiss, nothing. Whether you try to rub it off, it will not come off. So if you want like a really long lasting product on your lips, Put this on and then put your lipstick on. If your lipstick wears off, you will have this. It will not come off, trust me. So I'm trying to, um, I made a tiny, tiny bit of progress on it. I sharpened it once, but um, I am going to make it a point to try and use this up because I do have another one waiting and I, I don't need two of these. Next, I have my Elizabeth Arden mask and this is sticky, sticky, sticky as can be. It is almost like a putty. It will not spill. So uh, this, I am also moving through it. I'm not using it as much as I would like, but I do use it. I try to use it at least once a week. One to three times a week is what I try to use it. And um, I'm actually, there's like a third of it left. So um, I'm just going to keep using it and see how that goes. Another concealer I'm trying to use up is the Tarte BB Concealer. This one, as you can see, is down to the rim. I do not have that much left. I love this for concealing my dark circles, my dark inner circles. Uh, like I said, I like this thing. It's almost gone. Almost, almost. Not quite, but almost. I can't wait. I am excited to finish this up. And my bonus item is this Wet Slicks Crystals. 
lip gloss from CoverGirl. So this thing is, I want to call it done. I don't know if you can tell, but there's nothing in here anymore. All of the, there's some little bit of product pulled up here, but I've tried the, every, I've tried putting it in hot water. I've tried leaving it out in the sun. It just, uh, the rest of it won't slide down and I can't seem to get to the bottom of that. And I took out the stopper and even so. So as far as I'm concerned, this is done. I can still get a little bit out of it, but why bother? So that is my progress for the Love to Project Pan Tag. And those are my items. I want, I am so excited to see which item I am, I am going to finish first. And I think I know which one it is. But uh, so far I haven't finished any. But like I said, I am working towards my goal. Thank y'all so much for sticking around and watching my video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.